Hey, 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 Shadi Bazzi here, and welcome to another episode of the Top Listing Agent Show. Today, I am going to do something a little bit different, something I have not done since last December, really, and that is to share with you some highlights, some notes from a recent book that I just got done reading, and what an amazing book that book was. Uh, the book is called A Happy Pocket Full of Money. I will begin by saying, yes, this is a book you must a book that must make it uh, to the top of your reading list if you want to shift your thinking to support you in making 2021 your best year ever. Now, what I love most about this book is the fact that it is written in a way that is easy to read and easy to digest, and each chapter ends in a way that makes you want to read the next chapter immediately. You know, like there's a lot of boring books out there, and it's like you can't wait till you get through the chapter so you can, you know, pause and go back to the next chapter some other time, etc. This book is completely the opposite. Now, also, this book uh, really took me back about 25 years, uh, you know, way back into time, 25 years back into time when I first began my personal development journey. This does not really mean that everything in this book is all basics. It means that many of us have really gotten away from the basic principles that cause us to level up and keep on moving forward. For me personally, every chapter gave me an aha moment. Not necessarily in a way of like, oh, I just learned something new. It was in a way that reminded me of what I know that I have not been practicing. And my friends, this is why I love to read. As a matter of fact, for those of us that have read a good dozen books or so, we pretty much have already heard it all. And when it comes to personal development, but the reality is that in the world we live in today, with so much information being thrown at you every single day, we get lost and we get away from that which we need to keep consistent in our way of living our life, especially if we want to keep on leveling up. Now, as a real estate coach and trainer, I get to work with lots of amazing agents from all across the country who are committed to the growth of their business and personal life. And I got to tell you that when reading this book, each chapter instantly reminded, reminded me of a conversation with someone from that group of agents I work with. So I immediately posted in our private listings on demand group that they must read this book right away. Okay, now let's go ahead and begin. Let me share with you some of the things that really stood out from the book. Number one, money is an illusion. Money is not real. So what is money? Money is the body of value. That's what the author says, that money is the body of value. You get it? Money is the body of value. And what that really means is that where there is an abundance of value, there's an abundance of money, which really got me thinking, thinking about the people who are chasing the dollar. And what I have observed is that those that chase the dollar the most are those who find the dollar running away from them. And that is why they keep on chasing. And within the world we live in right now, a rather somewhat very virtual world where nothing can be hidden and everything is very transparent, people have become very savvy in picking up on those who are in the game of business for either fame or money. And these are the people who look good online. But when you really look at the reality of their bank account, there is no congruency. On the other hand, what I do see is that the people in all industries, okay, who are keeping their focus on bringing their audience the most amount of value are the ones who are making the most amount of money. So the question now really becomes, how much value are you giving the marketplace? Speaking of value, are you finding this podcast to be a source of value for you? Now, I am not bragging. I'm just illustrating that this is what I do for you with no expectation of return. This is what I want you to begin to do for the people you want to attract to work with you. Almost 100% of the business I personally generate comes to me without me having to go out and find it. How? I just keep on giving value. And when the right person receives the value, I become valuable in their eyes. And when the right time comes for them to level up because they are ready for it, guess who they think of immediately? The person who has given them the value. This is who I want you to become for your marketplace. 
Now that was one big great point, one great point from uh, many points from this book. So let's keep on moving on. By the way, I can totally turn this conversation into a few hour conversation based on the learnings from this book, but I will spare you the time and give you the opportunity to mine this great information for yourself. So I will only share another point or two. Next point. Your outer world mirrors your inner world. I know, I know what you are mostly thinking the moment you heard this. You are like, what? My outer world mirrors my inner world? I already know this. What is new about this? And that is the point. What you know and what you do are the opposite. As a matter of fact, what I want you to do right now is the following. I want you to write it out right now. I want you to put on an index card, a post-it note, make a JPEG out of it, make a ton of it, and place it everywhere you can receive this as a reminder. This way you begin to place more of your focus on what is going on on the inside because when you grow on the inside, everything on the outside will begin to mirror all the growth you've done on the inside. Again, nothing new but, and a big but, what you know and not do is just as good as not knowing. You want 2021 to be a better year for you than, than, than whatever you experienced this year? Then you have to, and I mean have to right now, not January 1st, begin to work on you. Work on your mind. Work on your body. Work on your spirit. Work on your relationships. And if you notice, I have not said work on your business. Why? Because when you get your mind right, when you get your energy right, and when you tap into your spirit, and when you have better relationships, you feel good. Worry and doubt will disappear, and all of a sudden, you find yourself taking all the right actions at the right time, and just like that, abundance shows up. And here is the final point of over 100 that I can share with you from this book. The final point is this. People short of time on the outside are short of it on the inside. Wow, do you even get this? If you are someone who's always complaining about time management, then you are someone who is not spending enough time working on who you are on the inside to become the person who has it mastered on the outside. I will go a step further here and share one big aha and turning point for me from one of the best mentors I have ever worked with, and that is Matthew Ferry. He said that time and money are not related. Time and money are not related. Some of you work way too much and earn way too little when someone else in your office and or marketplace works way less than you and makes 5 to 10 or even 20 to 30 times the money you make. Why? Because they have paid the price. The price of doing what most people will never do and this is work harder on themselves than they do in their business. This is so good. I think I'm going to do another or, or a part two a podcast on this book. Now, what I want you to know is that what, what is your take? Here's what I want to know. I personally want to know this. What is your takeaway from this podcast? Please share with me the value you got from this podcast as I really want to know. Look, send me an email to cbscbazzi.com or a direct message on either Facebook or Instagram. And if you're watching this video, like the video version of this on YouTube, please leave a comment below. Thank you so much for being a loyal listener to the Top Listing Agent Show podcast. May your holidays be magical, and I will talk to you soon. All the best.